Good morning. So I've woken up in this park, Yamuska, in the bicycle only section. A um, bunch of irritants to start the day, um, but you know, that's life. I figured out what was causing me the pain in the seat area yesterday. It was this. This is my shorts on the inside becoming unraveled. And uh, yeah, that can cause some significant pain. Uh, fortunately, I'm wearing my spare set of shorts. So hopefully these will hold out. Also, I bought coffee yesterday, but I bought decaf by accident. That wasn't very bright. But fortunately, I had liberated some tea from the hotel room, and so that took care of that. Finally, oh, and it's gone down nicely. Um, I had a rash on my legs um, caused by these pants, uh, which I was sleeping in. They're okay for cycling. They're not good for sleeping, I guess. Um, but, um, I brought with me, uh, we call it culminating, just in case something like that happens. Ever since I had issues with itching last year, I'm never really without it. Uh, or something similar. I also have the polyspore in there. So, three problems come up, three problems solved, and it's not even 8.30. <laughs> So uh, that's the way my day is starting. Okay, well, I'm all packed up and ready to go down the trail, or I guess up the trail, because I have a hill right off the bat. 60 kilometers today. I'm gonna have almost 400 meters in elevation, so less fun there, but that's the only way to get from here to there, so that's what I'm gonna do. This is downtown Waterloo where I stopped for lunch. Some guy just passed me in the uh, parking lanes here. Uh, had a good lunch. Spaghetti, carbon up. Now I need to find a metro and stock up for the campsite. So Waterloo is not a good place to stock up. I got some ramen, I got some coffee that I had to get rid of the jar for and use one of my precious baggies. Uh, I got some granola bars, but that's it. That's, that's all the food I could get. Not good. Well, back on the route there one again, headed east. Hills, more hills. I'm part way up a long hill. So this guy looks interesting. Although it's a little unusual to see in front of this. Anyhow, I got a lot more hill to go. There's a couple other bike packers up ahead of me suffering as I'm suffering. <laughs> oh boy. This is the worst of it though. Still climbing the hills. So that's not the sign you want to see after you've gone down the big hill. So I'm going to take my chances and hope that this applies to cars only. Cross my fingers. All right, I see a gate, but more importantly, I see a road. And so there is a road there. It is a problem just for cars. Yay. 
I've been racing against this rain all day and I'm happy to report I made it. So that should keep me dry. Oh, and I just felt the first rain drop. <laughs> supper. This and some of that decaf coffee I bought by accident. Not mixed together though. Okay, well I'm going to call it for today. Um, it's getting into the evening. The rain let up long enough to allow me to have some food um, and some decaf coffee, um, which was pretty refreshing. And I've just been sitting here watching videos of people hiking trails and bike packing and all of that and it's really kind of neat to be able to to watch these videos of other people doing this while i'm out here doing this you know and uh it just sort of completes the circle and i like that so tomorrow i've booked another day at this same here campsite so i'm not going anywhere i'm gonna let my legs rest a bit Gonna let my other parts rest a bit. My walk around a little. It's supposed to be rainy through the day, so I might spend a fair amount of time in the tent. I need. I do need to do some recharging, uh, but I do have my raincoat, so I can walk in the rain if I have to. Um, and that's it. That's the plan. So there probably won't be a whole lot of uh, video tomorrow. But hey, you never know. I might get reflective or whatever. Um, so that's it for today, and um, I'll see you tomorrow.